Hey guys, what's up? It's Dennis from Dennis World of Bodybuilding. Today I want to talk about Andreas Münzer. I don't want to talk about his conditioning in particular. We know that he's been one of the most ripped and shredded guys on stage in professional bodybuilding. A lot of guys do consider him as really the, the most ripped guy ever stepped on stage. But today I want to talk about something different, you know, which came into my um, mind very lately um, you know today it came into my mind to be honest and I was like hey guys if Andreas Münzer would be an active pro today you know not 20 30 years ago as he was would he still be alive and I think that he might have been you know he really might have been the reason is or the biggest reason is first Andreas Münzer lived in Germany back then, okay? He lived in Germany and he never was a professional sports athlete in your, you know, in the way we know professional sports athletes, guys like Phil Heath, Ronnie Coleman or the rest of the top 6, you know, which his job is to be a bodybuilder. You know, compete one, once or two times a year. Be present at the expos. Be in shape at the one or two times you compete. And basically, you can choose your shape, you know, the whole rest of the year. Back then, Andreas Münzer lived in Germany. And like I said, he was never a professional athlete in the way he lived. He was employed to Albert Busek in a gym. And one also one thing was that um, he did, you know, the way he earned his money was due to guest posings. I don't remember him having even supplement contracts, you know. There was a very, very famous um, documentary talking about Andreas Münzer, reporting about him in German television one year before he passed away and even then he didn't have any sponsors and his dream was really to one day come to America and go into movies too like Arnold so Arnold was his idol unfortunately one year after the documentary came out he passed away so that never fulfilled but like I said he didn't have supplement sponsors so he didn't lift off the sport he couldn't enjoy a off season where he got fat or something because he always had to do those guest posing to manage his life and be a trainer in the gym. So he was in shape 365 days a year. Really, three, you won't find any picture of Andreas Münzer out of shape. You won't find any. You know, as is, it is how it is. You won't find any he was always known to be the most ripped guy even back then too and some people also said that he was too you know too passionate about being ripped all the year that meant probably he took um, the, those pre-contest drugs the whole year round and that combined with already low body fats the stress due to work due to guest posing and everything probably you know lead it up to early death okay and I think that today if he would have the opportunities they have today even if he would have lived in Germany too he could have lived after sport due to a supplement sponsor he wouldn't have to be a employed guy in the gym working I don't know how many hours he worked I heard that he uh, you know worked full-time a lot of hours and like I said he guest post every weekend and his trademark of course was being ripped so it's like you expected it it was almost normal when he stepped on stage in off season that he was still in great shape but I think like I said nowadays he for sure he would have a supplement sponsor even in Germany which would you know provide him a life where he could focus on contests you know 
and don't work so to say be a professional athlete and I think today he might have been still alive why I'm not 100% sure because I also heard that he was you know he stuck in his mind and in his head that he had to be ripped all year round even after a contest you know he ate one hamburger and then eat clean again he didn't do you know what I mean he was always a clean eater always low in calories and even back then when I saw that that documentary about him he really had a computer in his office where he calculated everything even salad and everything he calculated everything he ate he had a food program everything was weight we know that you know pros in off season they do enjoy food too it is how it is they're normal guys of course they are able to enjoy them they have supplement sponsors uh, you know that make them enjoy them too because they don't have to be ripped every day of the year as long as they're doing good in contests as long as they're doing good with social media and everything they can be doing what they want you know outside of that contest stage but Andreas was always very very I don't know a workaholic so to say when it came to his body composition year year round guys what are your opinions on that do you think that nowadays Andreas would be still alive or do you think that because of his way of thinking you know to be in contest shape year round that he still would have done the same thing even if he would have been you know financially free or have some financial freedom during his career what do you think that's really interesting for me subscribe to my channel i wish you all the best bye